Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique baseball bat. The 2076 World Series Baseball Bat, part of the legendary Treasures Exhibit in Jamaica Plain. And because it can be found in Jamaica Plain, we need to go to Jamaica Plain, which is in the zone Quincy and Southern Commonwealth. As we can see on the Pip-Boy map, Diamond City is here and Jamaica Plain is to the southeast of Diamond City. Just the warning, the entirety of Jamaica Plains Township are now ghouls, so be prepared to encounter 30 to 40 of them. When we get to Jamaica Plain, we want to enter the town from the east, and up against these concrete barriers, we will find Hitler, I mean Carl Everett. On his body is the Jamaica Plain Town Hall key, we need to take that, and also take Carl's log. Once we pick those up, go to Carl's log in your Pip-Boy. Once it is in and loaded, select the September log entries. We will now gain the miscellaneous quest objective, find the treasures of Jamaica Plain. There is still a little bit more to do at this intersection we want to turn right and head down the road towards the orange car. Just before the orange car, turn left at this street lamp and head inside this house. Head through the door on the right and then head up the stairs to the top floor. Head over to the second room and we will find the two dead bodies. Tanya Standish is not carrying anything of import. However, Ken Standish is carrying the Jamaica Plain Archives key, something absolutely vital to our Indiana Jones-esque mission. Next, we need to head back to Hitler's body and instead of turning right, turn left and head down the road. Here we will find a church, however, the front door is chained from the other side, so we need to head through the white door at the red house next to the church. Once in here, turn left, go up the stairs, do a 180 to the right and head up the next set of stairs. Once on the broken roof, head across the wooden planks and we want to walk to the other side of the church roof. And once at this hole in the roof, we want to jump down very carefully and slide slide to the left so we land on the balcony instead of toppling to our deaths. Once on this balcony, turn around and head down the stairs at the back of the building. Once down the stairs and on the ground floor, head straight ahead towards the door. And on this church pew, we will find the body of Luke Silverhand. If we scroll down, we will find he is carrying the Jamaica Plain Mayor's ID. We most certainly need to pick this up. And thirdly, from the body of Hitler, we need to head straight ahead at this intersection and head into the Jamaica Plains Town Hall. It's easier to spot because of the statue out the front. Once we walk through the front doors, we want to head a little bit to the right into the bathrooms, then turn left and head up the stairs. Once at the top of the stairs, turn left 90 degrees and then turn left again 90 degrees into this room. Here we will find the body of Sal. On Sal's body, we will find the Jamaica Plain Mayor's password. Now we are fully prepared for the trials to come. So once again, outside the Jamaica Plain Hall, we want to head inside, but turn left. Head through this gap in the wall to our right and jump down the staircase. Then head into Jamaica Plain Town Hall basement. Once in here, head down the stairs, go around the rubble and turn left through the two blue doors. Right here is going to be location alpha. So from alpha, we can turn left, go through this blue door, opens with the Jamaica Plain archives key, head into this room and turn right and follow this secret hallway of bricks down into the security room. Or from Alpha we can turn right and head through this door here. Once here we can use the Mayor's ID card to deactivate the laser and turret system. Once that is done we can head straight through the hall, turn left and then into the same security room. Or thirdly from Alpha we can turn right, head into the same room with the same laser and turret hallway. However instead of using the Mayor's ID card to deactivate them we can actually Actually do something much more beneficial, a little bit more time consuming but more beneficial. Be very careful and be sure to save before doing this. We can walk up to each and every laser tripwire and deactivate them. There are 49 in total and every single one of them will give us one steel, one crystal and one fiber optics. The crystal and the fiber optics are quite rare and valuable crafting materials. That is why I would suggest you go through this hallway in this manner. Once that's complete, head into, once again, the security room. Now we're here, we want to use the terminal to unlock the security door. However, to do this, it requires the mayor's password, which luckily we have. Once that's open, just head straight ahead down the hallway, click the button that will open the second set of security doors. As soon as we enter this room, if we turn to the right, in the broken display case, we will find what we have been searching for, the one and true golden gem of Jamaica Plains treasures, the 2076 World Series baseball bat. As always, before we look at the stats, I have no perk, bobblehead or magazine effects applied to my character's stats, and I have also reduced all of my character's special attribute stats to one, so we will only be seeing the absolute base stats of the weapon. Now the 2076 World Series Baseball Bat should always come
come with no upgrade in the first slot and the oak upgrade in the second slot. For this video, I have not removed the oak mod from the baseball bat before looking at the minimal base stats because the oak mod is purely aesthetic and does nothing to the stats of the weapon. It has a base ballistic damage of 17, its speed is slow, its weight is 3, and its value is 325. And secondly, we're going to mod it out as much as we can to get maximum damage from it. This will entail adding the bladed mod to the end of the baseball bat and adding the aluminium frame. In terms of perks, to add both of these mods to the weapon, you will need blacksmith perk at rank 2. So once it's been fully kitted out, the 2076 World Series baseball bat has a ballistic base damage of 34, its speed is still slow, its weight is 3.9 and its value is 344. So the damage has literally doubled from 17 to 34. And as we can see at the top in the middle, the 2076 World Series baseball bat. Small chance to send targets flying. A very curious and fun effect for the weapon. In terms of aesthetics, there's one thing I would like to point out. This unique baseball bat does have a logo on it that says World Champions, as we can see in the middle of the bat there. However, when it comes to anything to do with your inventory and looking at the bat, the logo will not be on the bat. So back to the special send enemies flying effect on the weapon. When this special effect occurs, the sound of a baseball hitting the bat followed by a cheering crowd plays. This is the same sound effect that plays when the big leagues perk occurs. Also, as far as I can tell, according to the legendary effect chart, this small chance to send enemies flying is unique and cannot be found on random legendary item drops off of legendary enemies. This may be patched or may simply be untrue, but like I said, it is currently not listed on any legendary effect charts, making it a truly unique weapon. While I was out of the world using the 2076 World Series baseball bat, I did find that the effect occurred quite rarely. I had roughly about three hours of footage of me hitting enemies, and in that three hours it procced four to five times. So when it does happen, it is something special. Also, if you are a maniac, the 2076 World Series baseball bat can be sold to Mo Cronin in Diamond City Market for 200 caps, or up to 400 caps after passing a speech check. Inside of that, using this weapon is pretty much the same speed as just about any other melee weapon, and there are also some absolutely brutal, yet let's be honest, really cool execution combos in VATS. The three hits to the spine is a pretty good one. Outside of VATS it can be a little bit noticeably slow, but when you actually do strike an enemy, all they wish is that they had run home. You know how it is, a home run. Interestingly, with one swing you can do a twin killing, taking out two or more enemies at once. And that's enough of me pitching this weapon to you. Here's the 2076 World Series baseball bat in action, hitting it right out of the park. I've been Camel, I would like to thank you very much for watching, I do hope that this video helped you in some way in acquiring the 2076 World Series Baseball Bats. If you would like to see other Fallout 4 guides, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This will take you directly to my Fallout 4 guides playlist in which you can select the videos you wish to watch freely, or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides that I upload. Once again, I would like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there.